Single phonons was played an important role in comic animation and comic animation in general. However, in practice, single phonons does not exist. So in practice, people use coherent state laser source to replace single phonons. source. A few users use phase animation to, to decompose the coherent state into a mixture of four states. And in the four states, the single phonon component is the most important one, which we use to process the protocols. And the multi phonon components are usually discarded by unit methods such as the decoy state methods. However, there is a serious problem in this kind of approach. That is, the phase formulation step is not, usually not done perfectly. And in particular, the continuous phase formulation is not possible. This gives a very serious problem. Because for all the existing security analysis for coherent state protocols, including QAD, plant computing, coin tossing, and so on, continuous phase randomization is assumed. When the phase is not randomized, either the security will be broken or the performance will be reduced. In fact, recently there are common hacking demonstrations that show the QAD protocol will be broken or attacked by an adversary when the phase is not perfectly randomized. Since there is a pressing demand for security analysis of QAD and other coherent state protocols with imperfect phase randomization. So we take the approach here to use discrete phases instead of continuous phase randomization. Which means that in the uh, in phase space, instead of taking every value in uh, from 0 to 2 pi, we take an uh, equally distributed discrete phases, like one here, which is 0 pi over 4, pi over 2, and so on and so forth. After that, we use a uh, symmetric condition to compose this kind of uh, discrete with random, randomized coherent source into some states that are close to four states, but not quite. Then we analyze the, uh, the activity protocol with such kind of sources and show them with only a small number of discrete phases, which achieve similar performance to the continuous one. As future projects, one could consider more imperfections in the source and also apply our analysis to MDI QD protocols.